There it is. Oh my goodness, look at the size of it. Yeah! <laughs> That's a 10 inch hole. Welcome back to Stag on the Line. Yours truly. We're here today with Hope for Big Fish. <laughs> <laughs> and we're out here in Dauphin River, beautiful Dauphin River. The horses are all packed up, ready to go. What do you say? Let's go fish it. Tips on how to get a free perm. Let's toss it in a skidoo helmet. Here we are though. We're at the spot. It's pretty rough getting in here. Don't let that drone footage fool ya. People please. <laughs> Settle please. Tyrell, Patty, please. <laughs> but she is rough. We're gonna get set up here, put out a couple of tip-ups, and uh, see what's crack -a That's pretty cringe, eh? <laughs> so because it's nice and calm here, we're just setting up the floor here before we put the shack on. I hope give us a demonstration. Okay, so you just walk in like this. And here we have it. Cozy, warm. We're gonna put one up there for the ice, for the heater. Now, if you don't do this outside, you won't have much snow in here. You can just take off your boots, warm your stuff up. And here we have it. First ice fishing of the season. Got Hope set up in the tent. And uh, I'm out here drilling a couple holes for some tip-ups. 
Oh, yeah, I got the holes all drilled. Oh, nice. Put the tip ups in? Are you sleeping? I can close my eyes for a little bit, but I was still digging like All right. So today, I know I usually don't go over this in my tip up setups and bait and secrets and everything because it's top, top of the line secret. So you got your tip up here. And so with this tip up, we're gonna take the, the hooks. I don't know if you could see the, the hooks there. Top secret, top secret. And this right here is the top secret bait. The secret top secret bait. And basically, this bait is roughly about 13 inches. And so what I'm gonna do, get, get a close up in here, is I'm basically just gonna cut the bait in half, like so. And then that's one piece. And this one below the lateral line, I'm gonna cut that piece and make sure that blood is in there nice. And then the bottom piece is just a whole bait itself. And so what we're gonna do here is hook it head first, just so she's balanced nicely. Like this. Perfect. Alright, so come over here with me, you guys. Always bring your scoop. Depth here is three feet below the ice. Basically, just gonna toss her down so she hangs about, because it's only three feet here, I'm gonna hang it at a, about a foot and a half off the ground, so I'm right in the middle. And now, I want the flag facing the hut when it goes off, so that way when the flag goes off, you can see it from the hut. Boom, magic. And that's tips for free for Stag on the Line. Let's go get more of these in here. <laughs>What are you saying? I have no idea. It's been a while. Take a guess. Take a guess. I'll Take a say guess. 39. Okay. Anyway. Oh my goodness, the tape doesn't hold. Here, do you need a tape measure? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. My guide. How's <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> measure? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Put it over here. You guys are probably wondering where is this guy's bump board, but check out a, a lake trope video of mine. 
that I released a little while ago. And you'll see. <laughs> okay. Mouth closed. 42. 42 and a, half. <laughs> a beautiful way to start. First fish of the year. A 42 and a half. Unreal. We'll get him back here. Barely out of the water. <sighs> nice, healthy, safe release. <laughs> Just tensing up. Should take off as soon as we go. I'm gonna go. We got tail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Another flag! Okay, I'm coming! Alright, so fishing's a little slow here, and today we're gonna talk a little bit of some products. I have no idea what this is called but I got it at Cabela's for like 20 bucks and let me tell you, this is the best 20 bucks you'll ever spend. You might ask, well, what is it? Well, <laughs> well, let me show you. So, you take, you take the little straps off here and so on any hub shelter, you just, you basically just wrap this this is Velcro here. You just wrap it around like this. And then you wrap this around here on this side. And now you're probably thinking, <laughs> it's a shelf. Well, how does the shelf stand? Well, that's why you have this little fancy thing here. <laughs> and you hook it up on the top notch here. Basically, for you carpenters, get out your level and you can do the fine tuning. And uh, just wrap her around like that. There. And so, you have your coffee. You're just kind of standing around chatting with the guys. <laughs> my hands are full. I need to light up a dart or, you know, grab my rod. And well, there. Hands free. You put your beer there, your drinks, whatever you want. And uh, like like for me, we got the stag chili, of course. I mean, I hate carrying these around in my pocket. <laughs> so, <laughs> look at that. And uh, for you smokers out there, this, this part right here could be like a little ashtray or something. And so, put your lighter there. And so you're fishing and uh, literally you're like, ah, oh, my arms just getting tired catching so many monsters all day. Or I'm just sore from jigging all day and catching nothing. Well, we got the Timber Blue Steel here, Kevin Christensen series. And look at that. It's a rod holder too. You know, I don't even know. Where to get these? I found it at Cabela's, but it's the best 20 bucks you'll ever spend. And one more thing here. So I was sitting in Cabela's, you know, just looking at the thing, and I was like, look at this hope. And she said, look at what? And I said, this. It's 20 bucks. You think it works? And she's like, don't even waste your money. Don't, don't even waste your money. And I told myself, yep. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. She's like, no, don't do it. You're never gonna use it. Well, get this. The first time we go fishing, like literally like two hours after we left the store, I went fishing with this thing, brought it over to my buddy's tent. And I was like, yo guys, check this out. Hope's rolling her eyes. And she's like, yeah, you wasted your money. And so I started showing the guys. And next thing you know, Hope has her coffee in one hand and a rod in the other hand. She's like, I got a fish, sets the hook. She's like, here, Daniel, take, <laughs> take my cup. And I said, oh, look beside you. Look at that thing that I just bought. She set it down, reeled in the fish. Probably would have never caught the fish. So 
moral of the story. Don't let your woman. Oh, dang. <laughs> 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 absolutely not saying. <laughs>
just finished up our coffee here, did our rounds on the tip-ups. That's a 10 inch hole. How do I get it out? Pull! Oh. <laughs> Holy crap! Like, this is my hand. This is my hand on the burbot's belly. Cute little hand that I bled for this. <laughs> He's looking good. Okay, let's take him back to the tent. Last flag of the day, 33 inch burbot super well fed down here so we're gonna send them home and uh then we get to go home so we'll just oh and he was ready to go <laughs> awesome babe that's great <laughs> big bourbon <laughs>